Hey guys, welcome back to a new what's for dinner video. I think there is a lunch clip or two in this video as well. If you are new here to my channel, I do have an entire playlist linked down below with over a hundred dinner videos in it from over the years. I also have a playlist linked down below with over a hundred lunch videos from over the years. So feel free to check that out after you're done watching this. So starting off this dinner video, I am making a quiche. Quiche is definitely something that is a go-to um, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I really love it. And I like to keep pie crust in the freezer because they thaw out quickly, they freeze well, and anytime I need to use up like a little bit of meat, some random veggies, I can go ahead and whip up a quiche. I always have eggs on hand. I usually always have sharp cheddar cheese because I use that in a lot of my recipes that call for cheese. So I just have the pie crust laid out and I added the filling in it. I will link some quiche recipe videos down below in the description box that I've done over the years as well. They're also in my cooking playlist. So I did go ahead and use up whatever little veggies I had to use up. Some cheese, the eggs, some half and half. And then I baked this for about 45 minutes until it was done, although I did not wait long enough before I cut it, so it looks a little sloppy. I did serve it with some mini little corn muffins. Uh, tip of the day, let your quiche cool before you slice into it. We were just really hungry and I went ahead and butchered it, but it does usually slice a lot better. So this is a lunch clip here. I'm using this um, Appleton Farms mixed lunch meat and this cheese wrap. It's like a mozzarella wrap. I've got some romaine lettuce that I've got going in my salad spinner because I was prepping the lettuce anyways. I did find these cheese wraps and this meat selection both at Aldi. And I what I did was I used the, uh, the cheese as the actual wrap because that's sort of the concept based on what the package looked like. So I put some spicy mustard down and then I put some prosciutto and some salami and then some um, like hot ham capicola type of meat. I just used one slice of each and then I put on some green leaf lettuce. Actually, it's not romaine. And then I just kind of rolled it up like a burrito. And I just repeated this three times. I was actually making these for my husband's lunches, lunch for the day that I packed up in his work cooler. All right, guys, so Matt is taking um, a raspberry snapple tea, a Dr. Thunder, and of course, as always, the water cooler. These little wraps, I, sh um, I showed myself making one because they were literally the same. I can't take them out because they will unwrap because um, I put the seam on the bottom. But it's the uh, the meat, the mustard, the lettuce, and then I kind of roll them up like a burrito. So I think they're going to be pretty good for him. I'm sure he'll let me know. Um, I've got a mandarin orange peeled, so he's just ready to eat it. Some red grapes. I put it in a little bit too big of a container, but whatever. It's I'd rather have him, you know, rather not jam it into like a smaller one and smush everything. Uh, a choibani flip in the pumpkin harvest crisp flavor. Um, it's low fat Greek yogurt, pumpkin spice flavor. It's got oatmeal pastry pieces, creamy frosting chunks, and cinnamon roasted pecans. Spoon, a cheese it and then a, this is a peanut butter chocolate chip, uh, one of the less sugar granola bars. So that's everything he's gonna take today. If he wants to throw in like a banana or something, that's fine, of course, but this is what I'm packing him for the day. So I had a few extra pieces of bacon left over that I just chopped up and then I fried it in pieces. I have some spaghetti here boiling in some salted water and I made like a pasta shrimp kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it came out really good. It was sort of like a pesto shrimp pasta. So I have the shrimp here that I had peeled and deveined and I just had it on a paper towel. I fried it up in the same pan that the bacon was cooked in. So the shrimp, as you know, takes no time at all. I added some crushed red pepper flakes, and then I did add some pesto. I tossed it all in the pasta with the bacon and the red pepper flakes and a little bit of parm cheese. It was absolutely delicious. It made a lot, so we actually had the leftovers for this for lunch the next day. And then moving on to the next night, I made some hash brown casserole. I do have a whole video on this, so I will link that down below as well. If I forget, please let me know in the comments because sometimes I forget to link things. I made some barbecued pulled pork with a pork butt. 
I used this Oneonta 51 brand. It's by Brooks Brothers Barbecue. And I actually had some to freeze and some that we had along with the hash brown casserole, which is one of my favorite sides. It's so delicious. It's a great thing to bring to like a potluck because everybody seems to like it. And then I just made some of the green beans from Trader Joe's and I put the pulled pork on these pretzel buns. I love those green beans. The next clip here, I made some corn chowder. I had some smoked ham steak that I just diced up and I put it in with the corn, celery, onion, and the half and half, and of course chicken broth, and then I topped it with some green onions and cheddar cheese, and this makes a lot too, but we actually had my mom over that night, so we had all the soup, and then I sent my mom home with some for my dad. This next night here, I was making chili. Chili is a staple in our house. We have it pretty much like once a month um, throughout the entire year. And sometimes I make it on the stovetop. Sometimes I make it in the crock pot. But this night, as you can see, I was making it on the stovetop. I also have a video on this. It's a five ingredient chili. It is super easy. It actually takes not that long to make and it comes out perfect every time. So I do serve my chili over pasta. I know that's not for everybody, but that's just the way I grew up eating it. My mom always served it over pasta because she had to make it stretch because we were a one income family growing up. And actually I learned to love it over pasta and actually that's how I prefer it to this day. So I just put the chili on top of the pasta and then I put some sharp uh, Sargento grated cheddar cheese on top. And it was delicious. And we did actually have some leftover chili, which you're going to see I used the next day. Instead of having just chili as leftovers as like a meal, I actually decided to use it as a topping for some nachos. So I laid out these tortilla chips on a sheet pan. I just put the chili. It was cold right out of the Tupperware. I just kind of spread it out all over these tortilla chips. I had my oven already preheating to about 325 degrees, and then I just put the chili, and then I also put a whole bunch of, again, my favorite sharp cheddar cheese, and we actually had this as a meal, but I actually think this was a lunch that we had, if I'm not mistaken. I think we had this um, like on a football day, like on a Sunday for an actual lunch. So my husband and I just kind of picked at this huge try. We were not able to eat it all, but it was super delicious. I like the combination of chili on nachos and it was really good with the beans and definitely no complaints. This next clip here, we are at my parents' house. My mom was making this stuffed pepper soup, but she actually used ground turkey in it. And then she makes these little garbage bread. We call them garbage bread loaves. Some people call them like stromboli. Some people call them stuffed bread. But she had the pizza dough and then she had some just ground Italian sausage. I was grating the mozzarella cheese as she was putting the sausage on. She does make these with all different fillings. Sometimes it's veggie, sometimes it's, you know, a couple different meats with veggies. But this night was just sausage, the cheese, and some fresh um, or some dried basil from her garden. So she just rolls it up. She is not a fan of being on camera, so I did my best to try and keep her out of the camera, but she did give me permission to post. So she made these two large, well, they're, they're not large, but they're decent sized sausage rolls. And then the amazing stuffed pepper soup. It was delicious with that ground turkey and the sausage bread was just so, so good. I grew up eating this all different ways and it's one of my favorite things to this day. This last clip here is some veggie beef with a little bit of shell pasta soup that I had made last month and I actually, we had it for dinner and then I froze some. So I thawed it out this night and I had just gotten some bagels from Brugger's this morning and I decided to toast them up and make little bagel sandwiches. I have some sharp cheddar here in my husband's that's melty, kind of getting melty on the toasted bagel. I have some buffalo chicken from Dietz and Watson. It's like a thin sliced buffalo chicken. I put it right on top of the bagel. And then I put some of this Terrapin Ridge Farms Everything Aioli, which is one of our favorite condiments, right on top of the meat. And then I also added some romaine lettuce and just topped it with the bagel top, sliced it in half, and I repeated the same thing with my own bagel, but I had a rosemary bagel. My husband had this Asiago cheese one, 
And I don't know, it was just simple comfort food, a bowl of soup and a bagel sandwich. I like doing meals like this. Sometimes I do like a sandwich and a salad or soup and a salad. It's just easy. It's simple, especially since I already had the soup frozen. It was a really delicious meal, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave all the links down below to playlists and recipes that I mentioned in this video. Have a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.